Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zubi. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing an upcoming game that is not out on Roblox yet to the public, but it is based off of TVDU. So TVDU is the Vampire Diaries universe. Um, so if you guys don't know what this game is called, it's called the Nightfall Chronicles. It's a small game that is still in development. The Discord server will be linked in the description below, so don't forget to go check that out. But yeah, I'm gonna be showcasing the factions in this video. So currently there are three, wow. Uh, currently there are three factions. Um, so there is a witch faction, a wolf faction, and a vampire faction. So um, as you can see, this game is a little bit different from the rest. They do have custom characters instead of actual made characters. Um, so this allows for a lot of flexibility and stuff like that which is really cool. Um, and yeah, so um, the owner, Ben, um, gave me the three faction perks and also the leader perks to showcase in this video. So th thank you so much for that. Um, I'm going to be making more videos on this game. Maybe like I could make a video on expression magic or dark magic or anything like that. So if you guys just want to see that, just let me know. Um, I'm trying to make a heretic faction, but I don't I don't think he's gonna allow that. But hopefully he does. Um like let's pray on it. Um but yeah, let's just get off this video. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with the Elysium perks. So some of these are the leader perks. So a leader is the leader of the faction. So um there is one leader in every faction and they get exclusive perks. So we have one, we have four, eight, ten. I think we have ten, right? We have ten perks. No, we have nine perks. So we have nine perks in the Elysium faction, and the Elysium faction is the witch faction. Um, so the leader's perks are soul purging, um, plaguery, coven summon, and I think that's it, veil lifting. So these are all the leader perks, and the members get the rest of the perks. Um, but he gave me the leader, Elysium leader rank just for this video so I could showcase it. Um, so I'm also going to be showcasing the vampire and werewolf ones in a different video. So don't forget to go check that out. So yeah, we're going to start off with the Elysium keybinds. First, we're going to start off with base recall. So every single faction in this game does have a base. So the vampires one is up there, the werewolf one is in the caves down in the water somewhere, and the witch has their own little like aisle, like um they have this whole like sort of like mini map just for them. But the only way to get there is to teleport. So you're going to want to click uh, this is a cogwheel system by the way, just like TVL. So you're gonna want to hold Z and then you're gonna hover on base recall and then you can click and then as you can see a cute little animation will spawn. Um, I can't show the voice line because I will get copyrighted, but it is League of Legends voice line. So if you guys don't know what League of Legends is, it's like a game, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, but it's a really cute effect and if um if there is a leader in the game and there's like members the leader can do this little cute animation um to teleport here with them they like basically hold hands i'll show like a little clip here um so that's how it looks like if a leader was you know teleporting with their member um and then to get back you can just click the same thing again and then you will slowly you know you'll just teleport back so next is veil lifting or no we're gonna skip these because those are the leader perks so we're gonna go on to the next perk which is dark shield so dark shield summons a 360 um sort of like a 360 dark shield which is literally the name so you can um put the shield on someone else or you can put it on yourself so kyle can you do incendia on me so kyle does incendia i can use the dark shield and the effect of incendia and the um damage reduction will go away. So I basically cancel out the spell and I can use it on someone else. So if I use Incendia, I can use it on someone else. If I use Incendia and then I use Dark Shield on them, as you can see, the Incendia burning effect will also go away. They can also use their abilities while they're in the Dark Shield, which is pretty good. And yeah. Next is Distortion. Distortion is just a basic damaging ability. So if you just click, as you can see, red effects will spawn and you can run away. It doesn't do anything special, I don't think. Um, but some of these perks are glitched, so don't take my word for it. Um, but yeah. Next is Ethereal Chains. 
Ethereal Chains summons a... You do mean... Oh. oh. Ethereal Chains summons a chain in your hand and you sort of trap the target in it and then create an explosion. Or like that just like like ragdolls them. So if I click, as you can see, I summon chains. Um, I trap Kyle and then I blast it and then he falls to the ground and does do quite a lot of damage. Um, this is Kyle did a lot of animations for this game, so shout out to Kyle. Um, but yeah, you basically just summon chains and then wrap it around the target and then you attack them by creating an explosion which ragdolls them. So even if Kyle were to run away after I put the chains on, get ready to run away. Okay, run. So as you can see, I can put the chains on Kyle and then he will explode no matter how far he is. Um, and yeah. Next is mirror image, which creates a clone of you. So if I click one time, as you can see, I create a mirror image of me, which um, Kyle can, it, it, I'm basically invisible to anyone, um, but they can use area spells to use modus on me and then I will like get pushed away. Um, so basically this is good for like, and if you're trying to escape anything, um, and if someone tries to use, um, if someone tries to attack the mirror image, it will say, you have been fooled, or this is mirror magic, or this is a mirror image. It will say something like that on the notification sheet, not the bottom of your screen. And yeah, I'm gonna go to Sigil of Malice. So Sigil of Malice, you summon a sigil which sort of latches onto the target and it damages them. Just a little bit, not too much as you can see. It doesn't do anything special. It's just a damaging ability. All of Elysium's um, abilities are damaging, which is really cool. And yeah, so now I'm gonna be showcasing Plaguery. So God, can you damage me? So, Plaguery, um, this is a leader perk just because if a leader, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep going. So if a leader was in the game and they were faction members um, in the same server as the leader, okay, that's good. Um, if, if they were in the same server as the leader, they would also get healed. So if, so say I'm the leader and Kyle was a faction member and even if he was like at the opposite side of the map, if I use Plaguery, which summons um, wings and gives me health, um, all the faction members in the server would also do the same. They would get wings and then they would get healed, which is really cool. So it's kind of like a group ability if you want it to, but it's only exclusive to the leader. So what next is soul purging. So soul purging is supposed to be an insta-kill. Um, but currently right now i think it just does damage but if i get kyle low i think i could kill him so let me just get him low mm -hmm. okay so i'm gonna do soul purging so as you can see i click and then this little cool animation happens um, so as you can see, it will kill Kyle just because I did get him low. Um, and that is a really cool ability. It is an insta-kill just for the leader. I'm not sure if it actually insta-kills everyone. I think they do have to be a little bit low, but it does do a lot of damage if they're full health. Um, so next is Coven Summon, which it's very self-explanatory. If there's any Coven member in your server as the leader, you can use Coven Summon and they will be summoned to you against their will, even if they don't want to. You can summon your members. Um, so this is how it looks like. I know there's not any Coven members on my server currently, but this is that's how it um, actually looks like, the animation of Coven Summon. And it just had this cute little voice line, and yeah. So last is veil lifting. Veil lifting is also very self-explanatory. The veil is the sort of barrier that holds the other side, which is like the place you go after you die, to the actual real world. So um, if Kyle were to die, and if anyone were to die, like if this whole server was, if we were in a public server and everyone was dead, um, I could use this ability and it will mass revive them. Okay, as you can see, he's on the other side. Elysium witches can also see ghosts on the other side and they can, they're um, incendia and pain infliction. They're all like enhanced. So I'm going to use veil lifting. So as you can see, it's this really cute animation. Um, yeah, and I'm summoning the veil and it will say this little cool thing. Something strange is happening and then Kyle will start to glow. As you can see, he's starting to glow and then he will be revived.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified for all my videos and whenever I post. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody.